I'm numb. They were so good. Uh, it's just, uh, you can't believe that you actually did it, but I did. I mean, and, and uh, the cows that were out there, the final six were cows that you, that you dreamed about owning, cows that you dreamed that you hoped when you judged the show that you had that kind. They just had that extreme style. I like I like pretty cows. I like pretty women. I like everything pretty, and they were pretty. They had style and they had balance. They were correct legged. They had high tight mammary systems, veination. Uh, the the champion cow in particular, she's so extreme in her frame. Probably I would say probably the longest cow that that I've seen. That's period, but being that good with it and just having a beautiful head and neck carriage, just uh, the cow is just incredible, incredible beyond what you can imagine. Oh, I mean, there were some tough decisions all along through all these classes. Uh, the senior three-year-old class, I mean, we found our winner but there were a lot of good senior three-year-olds and they were just kind of, the class didn't uh, maybe balance out as well as some. You, know, you had to pick different kinds. It didn't have as good a pattern all the way down. The first couple did, but I mean, right through the, the whole deal. And that one probably took as long as anything, as far as the cow classes are concerned. Oh, I mean, there's a lot of people that I'd like to thank. I mean, I thank my parents and my family um, all the time. And and, uh, and actually, like, uh, you know, like I said on my champion speech, the Schwartzbacks have had a, a big influence on me over the years. Um, probably two two other guys that, 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 that helped me along the way and had a a big influence in my, uh, you know, judging cattle and uh, and fitting cattle and making connections as far as going here and there, and that would be uh, um, Ronnie Hefner and, and Callum McKibben, and both really good friends of mine as well.